So today in the Modus Super Series, this happened. Of course, if you. Whoa. If you opted. This is fairly unusual, but it does happen from time to time. I've been involved in a situation like this before where I've been taking my darts out the board and I've not managed to get them out properly. Um, but I don't tend to go back for a second grab. I kind of stop and pull my arm away and sort of see what the opponent's doing first. But let's go through this slowly and let's have a look at what exactly happens in this clip. So to start off with, this is a clip between Gavin Carlin, who is throwing the darts, and Franz, I don't know his surname, Franz someone, sorry, <laughs> I do apologize. Franz, who is retrieving his darts. Now his darts are in the board, all three darts are in the board, and uh, they are sort of, they're not together, which does make a little bit of a difference here. So they're not, not together, so they're a little bit, little bit more difficult to pull out of the board. So if we just see what happens first. So the first thing that happens is he gets his second dart stuck. So his second dart doesn't come out of the board properly, which then means that he's away from the board to try and take his third dart out. His third dart then doesn't come out, and as you can see here, he's still trying to take his darts out of the board, and Gavin has already thrown his dart. So at this point, there's nothing he can do. He's already thrown his dart. To be fair to him, what has happened is he believes he's kind of like, he may, may be a little bit too eager here, um, but there's been two mistakes uh, in, in retrieving the darts. The first one being there, the second one being there, and as far as he's aware... When he throws his dart at about this point, okay, his arm is still in the way. But at this point, he thinks he thinks the dart's going to come out the board and he's going to be out of the way. He is a little bit too close. But anyway, let's get into what happens. Let's just watch the rest of the clip as well. Obviously, we see the dart get very close to him. Let's see how close that actually got because that was quite close. And you can see straight away that obviously this was a mistake. So you can see just how close the dart is. I mean, the dart's nearly at his head. And the dart's very, very close to his fingers. I mean, they it must be inches here. It must be inches. But it's very, very close. And yeah, like that's that's that is very close. Uh, obviously, straight away, Gavin realizes he's made a mistake. It, like it wasn't his fault. It was a little bit unfortunate. Um, the other guy as well didn't look too pleased that the dart had been thrown, as you can see there. Um, but it's one of them situations. But let's go through the rules and let's go through what can potentially come of this and what can happen so i just want to say obviously this was not intentional um i don't think this was intentional at all it's just unfortunate they're in the, they're in the flow of the game and this happens and it's just one of them things but let's go through the rules and let's have a look at the rules and stuff that applies to this so the first thing you need to know is all dark organizations follow a different set of rules or they might follow a different set of rules i went on the modus super series um, website to try and find out what rules they follow and they don't actually declare which for which rules they follow so we're going to go by the pdc rules which is probably going to be the rules they follow for the most part and it's easy to find and i can just go through it and uh, yeah so we're gonna go through the dra which is the darts regulation authority rules and we're gonna see what kind of rules apply to this situation. So here we have the rule book. If you want to have a look at this, I will link it in the description. You can go and click on this and you can just have a read. There are some interesting rules actually in this book, but I'll go through the ones that actually make sense to this, this situation. And uh, yeah, we'll go through them together. So the first rule that sticks out for me is rule 3.4. So this is the first rule uh, that th I think applies to this. And this is players shall not do anything which is likely to intimidate, blah, 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 that sort of thing. You can see the rule there. But the first rule, the first rule that kind of applies to this is the player must not do anything which is likely to intimidate. Now, the wording for me suggests that this has to be intentional. You have to actually go out of your way to intimidate your opponent, which Gavin did not do. Um, so I don't, I don't believe that this rule applies in this situation. But that's definitely a rule that could could take place. Uh, each player, this is three point five by the way. Each player shall participate in all darts events in a fair and sporting manner and all that sort of stuff. So they're basically saying, like, if you're going to play in play in, in any events that are associated with the, with the DRA or the DRA rules apply, then you have to play to, um, to a fair and sporting manner, which, again, I do think Gavin, uh, Gavin did. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't intentional. He could have been a little bit slower, but it wasn't intentional. So, again, rule 3.5 I don't think applies in this situation, although people might might think it does the next rule i want to have a look at is rule 3.14 which is players must not recklessly throw their darts at any time this is slightly reckless although again 
unintentionally reckless, so I'm going to say this rule doesn't really apply, but obviously every every rule that I'm going to go through could possibly apply, but, but I, I just don't personally think that it does. So the next rule that I think applies is this one, it is 5.2.7. This is once a player has thrown the final dart of their throw, they should receive their darts in a timely fashion so as not to unduly disturb their opponent. This applies to Franz. This is uh, this is obviously nothing to do with Gavin. Gavin is not the one collecting his darts, he's the one throwing his darts. This applies to the other guy who was retrieving his darts. And two mistakes trying to take take their darts out the board you could potentially say that this rule would apply but again it's not intentional it's just one of those things that does happen from time to time and the next rule that i want to go over is 5.7.6 there are two here i want to look at number three and number four so number three is the non-throwing player must not enter the exclusion zone behind or at the side of the yoki until the throwing player has released the final dart now the clip doesn't show it but by the time the final dart from Franz does leave his hand, you can then enter the uh, the exclusion zone as soon as the dart has left his hand, as soon as the third dart has left his hand, which I think Gavin done absolutely fine, no problem. And number four is the non-throwing player should not commence their throw until the opponent... Po until the opposing player has exited the exclusion zone following the retrieval of their darts. Now again, it wasn't intentional, but Gavin did throw his dart before the opponent had even well even retrieved their darts not let, let, let alone um left the exclusion zone so again that could be applied but i don't think quite so much but yeah it's potential and then the last one that i want to have a look at is during the match uh during this is 5.9 or 5.9.1 during the match play in a darts event sanctions may be issued by the referee or tournament director and this basically says that you can get told off basically for this one would probably be uh well it's not persistent gamesmanship because it only happened once uh aggressive behavior potentially physical contact there wasn't actually any contact and uh nothing else so potentially you could get told off for aggressive behavior but again for about the 17th time this video it wasn't intentional and then the question is, what are the implications if this does get taken up during the match and the referee does think that this is unfair? Uh, and that is covered in 5.9.2, where is uh, where the circumstances itemized in 5.9.1, which we just mentioned a minute ago, the referee or tournament director will, and the first thing is issue uh, a formal warning to the player, which doesn't get you kicked out of the match, doesn't get anything like that, it doesn't get you in trouble. Like, you're chilling, you're fine. But... One interesting thing, because I've just gone through this whole rule book and found out all the information that I needed for this video, one interesting thing is that if he did hit his hand and the dart went through the guy's hand or through his finger or through any part of him into the board, that dart actually counts. I'm sure he wouldn't stay in the board very long. I'm sure the guy would rip his hand away and the dart would fall out. But if, for example, he if the dart went through his hand and then into the treble 20, and then stayed there, it's a treble 20. The score, would, the, the, the score would then be completed once the throwing player, which is Gavin, retrieved the dart from the poor man's hand, but it would have been 60 scored if it went through his hand and then into a treble, which is interesting, because there's no rule that says, or there's no rule in the rule book, I'm sure there is unwritten rules, but there's no rule in the rule book that says that your opponent can't touch your darts while they're in the board, which is interesting, but... I guess it's just one of those things where it's not, it doesn't have to be written. You don't have to write every single rule up because, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty obvious how that, how that would work. You can't touch your opponent's darts after they've hit the, hit the, hit the board. That's not, not how darts works. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like on it, subscribe if you're brand new. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Has anything like this ever happened to you? I'd be very interested to find out. And, uh, yeah, have you ever been hit by a dart? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.